cooking gas distribution stations in the Gaza Strip were forced to shutter due to a shortage in propane gas. The delay of delivery from Israel has led to the scarcity of cooking gas, according to the Petrol Station Owners Association. For two months, Israel has been allowing only 80 tons of gas then per day, while Gaza needs about 250 tons every day. What we are getting now is about 50% of the gas needed in summer. Now, with the temperatures dropping below zero, we need more gas to meet the rising demand. The drop of gas shipment coincides with the winter and a rise in gas demand due to the shortage of electricity for space heaters. International activists in the Gaza Strip say that Israel is making life harder for the besieged Gazans. If you have one and a half million Palestinians together in this tiny little strip of land and you deny them some basic basic needs. This is not needs of certain frivolities or, or trivial items. This is gas. This is cooking. This is, the, this is winter when finally it's cold and the, the rains have come. And what do you expect the, the children to cope with this after all of the loss that was previously uh, dished out on them after the war? A report by the Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs released on December 31st says that cooking gas shortage continues in Gaza. Many Gazans have now turned to firewood for cooking and heating. We don't have electricity all the time. Because of the power cuts, we use wood for cooking and heating in the winter. In June, Israel eased Gaza blockade after its deadly attack on an international aid flotilla bound for Gaza due to international condemnation. However, a report released by 22 NGOs in late November said that desperately needed goods are failing to get into Gaza. With cooking and heating gas shortage persisting for over two months, besieged Gazans say they will be facing a tough time in cold winter months to come. Ashraf Shannon, Press TV Gaza.